Why is the oil like three weeks old, bro? You're just not going to strain it. She might as well pour the... She might as well just eat straight out the pot. And we got the new worst chef on the internet by my boy August the Duck. I did like two emotes. Let's get straight into it. What the? Making my blue collar husband steak and chips and beans after his nine hour shift. You're making them heart disease and cancer and obese. <clears throat> and is that, oh, is that frozen? Well guys, today's a big day. It's been quite some time since I've been able to come on here and confidently announce that I have found a new internet chef that is able to live up to the level of incompetence that we Talk are about accustomed it. to. But here we are. Given what I do for a living, it's a- What the f even is the Level of incompetence product? that we have grown accustomed to. But here we are. Given- What is that toad in the hole? The name of that doesn't even sound appealing, bruh. What I do for a living, it's a pretty rare occurrence that- What the f is that oil, bruh? I see anything cooking related on the internet that actually manages to shake me to my very core. But it's always a oh good day God, when it happens. About the other day, somebody tweeted at me to check out a TikTok account named Top Housewife. And I Once that. I did, I knew the game. Is that Check a British out flag? a TikTok account named Top Housewife. Hey, man. It, you know, you know, you know, the flag makes sense. The flag makes sense. I'm so glad y'all niggas didn't win that war, boy. And once I, I did, no. I knew the game was. Y'all motherfuckers eating toad in the hole. That's, 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 that's y'all. It's about to change forever. Now look, I feel like there's a pretty high percentage chance that this TikTok account is just a joke. Everything is satirical. way, Bro. way too on the nose, but there are a couple things that throw me off just enough to think maybe, just maybe, oh my God, this could this be real. This account up. presents itself as like a video journal archive for a woman who films what she makes for her husband while he's Why at work. Flipping and the, the meals pizza? that this woman makes for her poor husband are uh, are kind of hard to explain why are you words. putting so much it's salt one of those on things that you're just gonna have to see okay so let's not waste any more time let's begin please subscribe she does know she can like she don't gotta you know like you do know like you don't have to hold the the salt like it's vertical, like you can hold it horizontally, bro. Alrighty, so this is the first video that I saw once I journeyed on the Top crazy. Housewife's TikTok page. And right off the bat, it's uh it's not looking good. First of all, deep frying pizza has got to be a federal offense. I Type don't shit. know how you would go about charging somebody for this, but I know it's illegal. My gut just tells me. If you're sensitive to watching things being deep fried, this is going to be a really rough video for you, by the way. <laughs> Thought I should give you a heads up. The amount of salt this person puts into their dishes. You Thank think you a government that cares about, about it. its citizens would classify this as attempted murder because eating this much salt in your meals every single day? Yeah, you're going to die. Man, why is the oil like three weeks old, bro? He's not gonna strain it. She might as well pour the. She might as well just eat straight out the pot. For real, you are not draining the oil at all, bro. I can't watch this, bro. This is gonna make me throw up. August, please say something, bro. Yeah, be sure to scoop up every last ounce of that weak old contaminated oil. Thank you wouldn't want to lose out on any flavor. The amount of oil that's been... Flint, Michigan's water is cleaner than that oil, bro. Transferred onto this plate looks like what you would clean out of a pan after you fry some bacon. Either this person is willing to waste thousands of dollars of food for TikTok content, or they're trying to force a premature death on their husband. Salt away, bro. 
don't don't squirt it on the people. Oh, thank goodness. For a second there, I thought you were going to leave this unsalted. Everybody knows that the salt you use while you're cooking doesn't actually count. Adding the mayo racha, at least for me, did put this over the edge to where now I want to vomit thinking about eating this. I was basically already there thinking about how these fries would feel and taste eating them covered in weak old oil. That a Weak old oil and 37 pounds of fucking salt. Good God pizza and who knows what else was already fried in but yeah what this dish really needed to tie it all together is a dense egg based sauce yummy the frozen solid beams is pissing me off i don't i don't know something about something about looking at that is just making me upset more salt yep there it is yep yep what even what even is that what is that pepper Nice. Nice. And why do you just got a can of Frank's just open right there, bro? I saw that. More. This person yep. is single-handedly keeping the salt business afloat. What I was talking about in the beginning, saying that there are things that make me think this could be real, the main one is that there are two to three uploads a day on this TikTok page, which would mean... Oh! Oh! I mean, not only is this person going out and buying three meals worth of food every single day for a satirical TikTok account, but they're also having to buy like a gallon of salt once a week. This would be a pretty expensive endeavor if you weren't actually eating this stuff. I know we've seen a lot of these pages in the past where they're obviously fake, that people aren't actually eating Like, what, uh, what was that? What was that page called, bro? The life hack page where he would just like destroy shit. Y'all know what I'm talking about? I forgot what it, how to basic, I think. They're making, but they're uploading like once a week. To upload for every single meal, every, every day single crazy. day, it makes me think that there's a chance some poor guy is actually- Even if it's satirical, you know they're trying this shit though, at least. Being fed this. Just dump it, bro. Just dump it, bro. Oh my god, bro. You can't even differentiate the oil from the fucking sauce from the beans. If I hear another salt shaker, if I hear the shake of salt one more time, this is disgusting, bro. This is dastardly, bro. I don't know why the amount of oil in these videos is making me feel so sick, but it's really not doing me any favors here just thinking about eating this amount of oil, not to mention the force at which this pan is being scraped. When they're performing the autopsy on this guy when he dies from a heart attack at age 28, they're gonna find that he was- They're not even gonna find organs, bro. They just gonna find salt, bro. 46% Teflon. I don't know what Teflon is, oh but my I'm God. pretty sure that joke- Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> that. Was a body dissolved in this oil? Does this person have mob ties or something? Do they need to- That nigga interrupted my joke, but like... This is gross, bro. Make sure somebody was never found? Oh my god. How do you even get a pan to look like that? Is Marguerite Baker behind the camera? My goodness. Oh, and you're just like, just toss- Oh ah. my god, why are you basting it with the bog water? What are you doing? This video is actually gonna make me throw up. Bro, the thing about these commentary channels is funny is cause like, they talk in the most monotone voices, but like, I can tell he's like, he's expressing so much emotion. It's like, it's funny. I kind of envy the ability cause I feel like I'd be getting too loud. You're not supposed to even break it in half. It's to get, you're supposed to bake it. I just realized that's a pen. Corn, we're frying corn.
I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna let you finish. Go ahead. This pan is nearly empty, and this person is using a slotted spoon, which means that all of that radioactive waste that was floating around in the oil at the beginning of the video has now become one with the toad with in the, the hole. I think yep. eating this would actually kill you. I'm not joking. Hold up. No, 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 no. We gotta, we gotta look at this. We gotta look at this. Look at this. And look at this. These are not the same final product, bro. Is nearly empty. Waste that was eating this. My eyes are real quick. Am I seeing? Okay. Wait, wait. Um, hold on a moment. Let me wipe out. Is that a canned burger? Out my eyes are real quick. Am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? Is that a can of burgers? No, no, no. Let me ask one more time. Is that a can of burgers? I mean, I. I Making homemade flying Dutchman burgers for my blue collar husband dinner after his nine hour shift. If I come home after a nine hour shift and you make me canned flying Dutchman burgers, you're meeting the flying Dutchman, bro. There's no shot. There's no way. I'm going on the news that night. There's no way. Where did the top go? Did you pry it off with your teeth? Well, she fucking bit that bitch. I'm kind of at a loss for words. Mankind was never meant to see this kind of imagery. Mm, this is disgusting, bro. Oh, and the salt. Okay, so I was kind of thrown off by there being an entire onion in the pan here. So I looked up what a flying Dutchman burger is. And apparently, it's something they sell at In N Out. I've only been to In N Out like twice in my life, so forgive my ignorance. But it's a oh, burger where the patties are onions, which I love onions. I'll eat onions on literally anything, but that doesn't really. The patty is an onion? Then why the fuck does she have a can of fucking burgers? The buns are onions. Nigga, that shit, bro, it's ironic that it's called the Flying Dutchman, because didn't Spongebob literally eat a burger that fucked up his breath, and now we just eating onion bun burgers? Oh my god, this is disgusting. This face is pissing me off. You sound that good to me. That just seems like it would taste like nothing but onions and would also And her shit is not going to look like the in and out shit, bro. I can't watch another one of these videos, bro. There's no way. There's no way. You didn't even put it on the... Yeah, it's gonna be so soggy and just... It's, it's not even holding together, bro. It's that, that, yeah. Okay, so obviously the competition is pretty low here, but if you can ignore the fact that these are patties that come out of a can, I think this might be the least offensive thing made so far. Sure, there's still about 10 times the amount of oil there should be and, you know, heart-stopping levels of salt, but if you like the Flying Dutchman Burger and you hadn't eaten in, like, 11 days, you might be able to stomach this one. Well, guys, what do you think? Rip to that blue-collar husband out here busting his ass for this kind of nourishment bro, the only blue collar he gonna wear is a hospital vest bro if you guys like the reaction be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch y'all in the next one